Okay, so Beach Rehab 2018. I dug down, I'm guessing I went down about a foot maybe, and then, you know, not so much where the shoreline is. The water is about eight inches lower than normal right now. So, um, you know, I think at least half of this mat will be kind of in the water at normal water level. Um, but that sand over there is the sand that was here, which is a more coarse sand. I think they call it brick sand, which is kind of like, um, it's like this, where you can see that it's a mix of particles, rocks, you know, little pebbles, I guess, sand particles. So I'm gonna put that back over this and, and probably use it to go out into the water more. And then what we're replacing it with is mason sand, which probably isn't gonna last quite as long, but you can see it's much more uniform. There really aren't little pebbles in it. It feels so nice on the feet. So I got this sand mat from, shoot, I think the place is called, I don't know, if you Google muck mat, you'll be able to find it. I also have one of their weed mats, which is um, really similar, except it's got a metal frame on it. And I've got it over here right now. You can see the corner sticking up. And basically what you do is you just lay it on top of your weeds and um, they don't get any sunlight, so they die. So that's been pretty awesome. Just, you know, trying to get this whole shoreline rehabbed, obviously. This is my lower area of concern over here. Up here where the beach is, where we normally hang out is kind of my first priority. So I'm pumped to get this sand all laid out and um, get the mason sand, you know, five inches or so on the top. This is 15 tons of mason sand. I, mean, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to getting the old sand, the more coarse sand, kind of pushed around as my base layer. I'm going to push a little bit more of this out and then I'm going to start spreading the good sand. Alright, I'm back at it here and uh, we've had a couple of days of rain so I kind of took a break but um, I got pretty far since the last time and you can see undisturbed sand rain. This kind of sand gets a little bit crusty when it rains. This is the mason sand. The kids think it's fun to like grab a piece that seems solid and have super strength to break it up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get this knocked out today. I just got a little more smoothing out to do. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm using a, my tractor is really small. It's a subcompact Mahindra Emax 25. It's got a 25 horse diesel. Um, I'm leaving the, the backhoe on. I, and by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this is my first tractor. I don't know how to operate heavy equipment. I don't know how to move dirt. So. Uh, if I'm doing it all wrong, let's just go ahead and agree that uh, that you're right and I am doing it wrong or there's a better way. That, uh, that's probably true. But I am having a lot of fun, you know, driving a tractor around in the sand. I'm thankful I got four-wheel drive. I got a locking differential pedal here. So if I get stuck, let's put my heel on that. It kind of locks everything up. And so far, I haven't gotten stuck, which has been nice. So... My plan now is just to kind of uh, back drag this a bit and smooth it out, kind of get it 
get it level, get the sand where I want it to be, and then I'll be done. All right, well, this is good enough for me. I'm not exactly sure about my slope down to the water. The water's about eight inches low right now from normal. So it's gonna come up quite a bit, but it's deep. You know, the kids will be able to dig in here um, you know, a long way without getting down to the bottom. And I just went over it with a rake, so I use an upside down rake just to kind of smooth out the tire tracks and stuff and just, you know, try to level it up a little bit more by hand, but it's nice, you know, this is good sand, it definitely feels like the beach, the kids are loving it. Um, so one thing I wanted to talk about was the difference between mason sand and brick sand. So I think there are different terminologies for it at different places, but what I'm calling brick sand is the sand that you would put down before you, like if you were putting down pavers, you know, you would put just uh, the cheapest sand you can get down for your base layer. It's got little pebbles and stuff in it. But then mason sand, I'll grab these rocks while I'm at it. Mason sand is like what you would mix with mortar and stuff. Uh, so it's real fine and real uniform. Again, I know I showed you this earlier, but here it is again. This is like super nice sand. There are pros and cons. This sand really sticks to you a lot. So when the kids come up from the beach, they are covered in sand. And we notice a lot more sand around the house, on the stuff that we were playing with. Um, so it's a little bit more of a hassle that way. But it's, it's also a lot nicer, you know. To put your feet in the brick sand doesn't feel that great on your feet this sand I mean this is like that beach. it's awesome uh, but the other downside is that I think it's gonna really wash away I think it's gonna erode a lot more quickly uh, and since this is our first time adding sand to the beach we bought the house with the beach already here and I don't know how long that sand had been here and in fact, I pulled a bunch of sand up out of the, the lake. When we bought the house, none of this sand was here. This was all grass and mud, and it was kind of like a, it was a low spot right here. And so I just took my, I back dragged the lake and pulled up a ton of sand out of the lake and just kind of left it over here and spread it out to try to fill that low spot. Um, so who knows how long the sand has been here. So we'll see over time how I do on this. And you know, well, like I said, it wasn't too expensive. We got 30,000 pounds of sand delivered for $475. So if I got to do it every few years and it's, you know, a lot more enjoyable, then, um, you know, maybe we'll do that. Anyway, if you have any questions about the sand or building the beach at your lake, let me know. I'll see if I can help you out, although I'm no expert. But thanks for watching.